does the mere sight of these roaches make you want to scream and run? <coughs> Do you want to jump up on your chair and cry for help? Help! If you said yes, you're not alone. But Courtney and I see these roaches a little differently. We're here to clear up some misconceptions about roaches. We'll help you learn the difference between pest roaches and the roaches that make great pets. Take a look at this chart and we'll explain. Pest roaches carry germs, while other roaches are clean. Pest roaches are invasive, they move in with you. Other roaches are non-invasive, they have to live in their own environment. Pest roaches are helpful. Oh wait, they're not helpful, not helpful at all. Other roaches are helpful. What do we do when we see a dirty, invasive roach in the house? We smack them. We don't like killing critters, but since pest roaches carry germs, cause allergic reactions in some people, and don't help the environment, we don't mind killing them. Meet some of the roaches we keep at our house on purpose. We have Madagascar hissing roaches, peppered roaches, and giant cave roaches. The first species we're going to talk about is the Madagascar hissing roach. They're from Madagascar. See the island off the coast of Africa? Madagascar hissing roaches live on the forest floor and eat decaying stuff. They're like little garbage men. They hiss by pushing air through pores in their abdomen. Hissing helps them scare away predators and communicate with each other. Roaches are thigmatrophic. That means they are most comfortable with pressure on three sides of their bodies. So they cram themselves in small spaces. They are insects, but they do not have wings. They have six legs, three body parts, and antenna, just like other insects. Peppered roaches and giant cave roaches are from Central and South America. They have many similarities. They both have wings, but they are way too heavy to fly. They are omnivores. They eat both meat and plant matter. They are invertebrates. They have no backbones. They have exoskeletons. That's an outside skeleton. They shed their skin. When after they shed their skin, they're white because their exoskeleton has not hardened yet. Now I know all of you are going to want to buy roaches from us after seeing this video blog. So we're going to show you how to create a habitat where they will thrive. The first thing you need is a container with a secure lid. We like lids with screens so that the babies can't climb out. Not all roach species can climb right up the glass like the hissing roaches can, but it's best to have a secure lid. The next thing you need is substrate, something to go on the bottom of the container. You can use coconut fiber that you can buy at any pet store or a mixture of peat moss and vermiculite. The vermiculite helps keep mold from growing. Roaches are nocturnal. That means they're awake at night and asleep during the day. Because they're asleep during the day, they need a place to hide. You can use a store-bought hide or paper towel rolls work well too. The last thing you need are dishes for food and water. For the more natural look, you can use dishes you get from the pet store. Or you can even use recycled lids. For water, we use these water storing crystals instead of just water because the, ro the baby roaches can climb on them and then they don't drown. And that's it, all you need for a roach habitat. Roaches are pretty tough and adapt easily, so it's really hard to make a mistake when you're caring for them. After all, scientists say that they've been around for about 350 million years. Now it's time for some roach vocabulary. Roaches are thigmatrophic. That means they like pressure on three sides of their body. Next is ovoviviparous. Say what? That means the babies grow in an egg sac on the inside of the female. Our roaches give birth to live young. Roaches are nocturnal. That means they're awake at night and asleep during the day. Roaches are invertebrates. That means their skeleton is on the outside of their body. They are omnivores. That means they eat meat and plants. So our roaches are clean and make great pets. Got that? If you're interested in learning more about roaches and other critters, you can check out our website at www.notsocreepycritters.com. And like us on Facebook. Oh, and thanks, Kana. By the way, our grandmother's helping us hold up the board. Okay, cut. No roaches were harmed in the making of this film.